All right, you guys, today on Tools in Action, we're gonna give it to you. We're going to Bosch Corporate and we're crashing the place. This is it, this is their corporate building. First, Eric's gonna blow up their bathroom. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We're at Bosch. What's up? There's Brittany. There's Steve Wilcox. He's the uh, general manager of global operations here at Bosch. Which is not true. Huh? Which is not true. Oh, president of Bosch right there. What's up you guys? Welcome. Eric, can you sign my name or can you hold this? I already did it. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Eric, sign me up. Um, yeah. Alright you guys, this is Bosch. What is this? What is this? The Bosch job site takeover Austin. Look at all these drills. About 1.6 tons of retired tools. Wow, 1.6 tons of retired tools. Man, there's a lot of yellow. That is a lot of yellow. Don't worry about me, I'm just holding these cameras, Eric. You didn't I got it. it. No, I got it. Okay. Thank you. All right, we're walking. Right. This is it, you guys. Can you guys come up on the screen sometimes? What? Sometimes we come up on the screen? Sometimes. Is there anybody we know? It's for America's Most Wanted. Yeah, America's Most Wanted screen. Yeah. Wow, that's great. Oh my God, here oh, we wow. go, you guys. Yeah, okay, see, I remember this. This is Bosch. Shh. Oh, this is Bosch. So, Brittany, it is, it is really what goes on here? Um, so, this is where a lot of our sales teams sit. Okay. So, we've got like our digital team sits here. So, they work with our Omni channel. With your what? Omni channel, so oh, like okay, gotcha. online and in store. Sales. This is a sales team. There's our battery guy, Theron, down there. Oh, there's a battery there guy. Okay, yeah. we gotta talk to that. You get an iPhone yeah. replacement we'll, we'll if you want. Okay. Wait, this If you guys want iPhone replacements, this is the place. Yeah, I remember. He was at World of Concrete, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was. I didn't know he was the battery guy. Yep, so he's our product manager for <gasps> Secret room, secret room. God. Oh, thank yeah. you. And here we go, you guys. Yeah, so I remember this. Walking in the box. Oh, wow, we got people in here. Wow, look at this. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, guys? Yeah? Oh, Rambo. How you guys doing? Tell us about this saw and why it's so much better than a Harbor Freight saw. All right, well, that's easy. Yeah. <laughs> so, no, I'm kidding. So this is our new Bosch 18 volt uh, miter saw, eight and a half inch, brushless motor. Um, and the great thing about these cordless saws is that they, they deliver all day runtime with our core batteries. So this thing, in preliminary testing, we did over 350 cuts with two by material. Wow. So I mean, this is this is an all day runtime tool okay. at this point. A um, couple uh, features here we got. So it can do up to three and five eighths inch crown, nest it up against the fence. Um, it's got an LED work light built in, also a cut line laser. Is that adjustable, that it laser? Is adjustable. Okay. There's a Phillips head screw here, so you can adjust it in or out. It also has a little window to protect it from getting dust on it, so you can wipe it out if it gets a little dusty up there. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, what precise blade is this, did you say? Eight and a half inch. Eight and a half. Okay. Um, it can do at zero degrees, up to two by 10 material. Uh, two by eight at 45 either direction. Um, single bevel, uh, dust collection capabilities. We've got a bag on it now, but it also hooks up to our vac system. Uh, portable, so this one we actually have on the stand, so it fits on our gravity ride stands, but um, if you just take it up, it's 30 pounds. Um, so pretty light, compact. Safety first, you guys. <laughs> Since we're at Bosch, we have to do safety first. Safety first. So now, x -Lock, is that, did you guys license that from somebody, or is that? No, this is our technology. This is your technology? So with x -Lock, Wow, that's crazy. So the cool thing about that is, is you don't have to touch a hot blade, or you don't have to, uh, but these are special blades you have to get from Bosch. 
Bosh. Will it accept normal ones too or no? No. no? Ones, but um, Xbox is actually most most of the wheels are compatible with the seventh eighth inch Arbor. So okay. So actually will fit your standard grinders as well if you don't want to transition your fleet all at once. Gotcha. Okay, so I could take one of these and put them on a regular right. grinder. Wow. Okay. Wow, that just feels like a nice blade too. Yeah. So there's gonna be a whole new accessory line for this, right? Yes, correct. Yep. And it just snaps on. Wow. And then just to undo it is. Pull it up. Mm -hmm. Wow, this thing just looks beefy. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's a yeah, it is. Yeah. Is it gonna be white or is that just production no, it's sample? Be white. Really? Yeah. How you got it in, in your um, kit is. But we're gonna have more sizes. Correct. Oh, Dan, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. So, I heard you're interested in nail strike. Yes, you guys, this is Philip and he is uh, the nail strike guy. Exactly. All right, this, so this is our new product. Okay. Um, we call it the nail strike. Okay. So it's our middle tier. I'm not sure if you heard about our- Yes, we love statement. them, we love them. So this one is awesome. It's like 10 times faster than everything else out there in the market. Right. Um, but the one thing it doesn't do is like when it comes to nails. Right. It does not cut through nails. So therefore we see um, a demand in the market for this product called nail strike. It can go through up to like 30 nails. Wow, so before how needing we... replaced? Exactly, yeah. Okay. So how, how do we do that? So if you can see here, we have like a little like um, showcasing our new product here in the, this launch kit. Um, so as you can see, we wanted to keep the, the fully threaded cone tip because that's such an amazing feature, especially when you do overhead drilling. Right. It takes a lot of pressure off your shoulder because it pulls a bit, a bit um, through by itself, basically. Wow, okay. Okay. So the other thing we did is the, the body of the, of the new bit is a lot thicker. If you compare I the saw that. Each other. Yeah, that's so crazy. we really wanted to make it more robust. Is it for the strength just exactly. to tear through a nail? Yeah, exactly. So same material. Um, no. So this is like a higher grade steel, also. Okay. So like more robust. So also like to like to make it more like yeah robust and less let's say like more wear resistant. Gotcha. Okay. Um, so for like construction, I mean, if you know there's no nails, just go with a regular Daredevil. Exactly. Okay. So but if you if you think like especially like what you see here, like the top uh, the top boards on the construction, right? It's like two layers of two by fours, right? And those get connect often with nails, right? So and if that happens, then you want to be sure you have a nail strike. Okay. Well, let's let's get this thing rolling through there. You want to try it, Eric? Okay. Or you want to show us? Whatever. Let's get through the nail. Because right. nobody believes you. I'm so, not gonna lie. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so the one thing definitely to mention for your users out there, um, if you want to, if you're hitting a nail, switch the tool to low speed but high torque mode. Okay. Because you want to have the torque. It's a rough application when you're hitting the nail, so you need the torque of the tool. And someone said, don't use an impact. Correct. Yes. Okay. And so now, rotary only. Yeah. question is, is why do you have like an impact quarter inch? Had um, like, if you if you just intend to go through um, just purely wood, yeah, then you can still use it in impact. Okay, just not for the nail part. Correct. Got it. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. There you go. All right. So hold on. So we've got a nail right here. You so, ready? Yeah. Go. Wow, there's really a nail in there. Yeah. Where's the nail? Oh, yeah. There's a nail right there. It did take it out. Wow. On the top. Seriously? Man, I didn't even feel anything. Try again. Yeah, um, let's try another one. You can see. Yeah, yeah try another one. one right here. Yeah. So that time we felt it. I see that it. One yeah. Hit. Wow. I see oh, it. Wow, that's a big it nail. Did. Yeah, yeah. That's a big nail. Wow. Okay. So yeah. you're gonna hit the nail, and then you're just gonna torque through that area, exactly. and then go back to normal right. drilling. Wow. So on what? That's pretty. That's nice. Yeah. Because look at look at Eric, look how excited this guy is. Oh, seriously. We'll take two. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> look at this guy. Because Steve Wilcox Productions. <laughs> so on the nail, oh, on the gotcha. escape, you have to you have the spurs here, <laughs> which then get bind up with the nail which are helping for like pre-cutting the wood. But in this application, it's really like when you want to hit, go through the nail, you don't need those spurs. And then that's where you need the robustness. Now what's the cost difference? Um, so in a regular one inch spade pit is around like uh, five bucks. This one is always, almost going to be double the cost. Okay. But it's still like compared to like a short auger bit, it's still like half the cost of that one. Right. So it's perfectly in the sweet spot in the middle. Gotcha. So I mean, you're getting a long, longer life out of it. Correct. It's just definitely going to be a better. Way. Um, so now, would you recommend? Let's say I'm a contractor and I just had like one one inch spade bit. I mean, 
if I if I get this one and hardly ever go through a nail, am I still going to get that same performance that I'm going to get off the other one? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's probably just better. I mean, what about longevity though? Because I mean, these things so, will wear out after a while through wood. Is this going to last longer yeah, through but just like, wood? Um, but this, even this one, if you just go through, uh, through pure wood, it's still going to give you like three to four hundred holes. Right. Wood, so yeah. still like pretty long lifetime. This one, um, I would estimate roughly a similar lifetime, but you have the robustness in the nails. Yeah, I know. So like that was that was the no brainer. Yeah, 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 if you're on a job site, because the worst thing that we see on a job site is having to run back to a hardware store. Right, the downtime. Store. That's the yeah. biggest yeah. because yeah. productivity is super important for all the users out there. So if they have to run, um, if their bit breaks or like gets dull and they have to run back to like the store somewhere, that's just yeah. right. Yeah, that's that's why we use Hilti. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> I'll, 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 hey, I'll cut that out. I'll cut that out. I'll cut that out. I'll cut that out. All right, cool. Thanks, awesome. brother. No, thank uh, good stuff. And then when is this available? Uh, April first. Okay, are we going to be able to find it in uh, big box stores? Yeah. Okay. Um, so March first in Lowe's. Lowe's. Okay, cool. Check it out, you guys. Lowe's. Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.